Hello, this is Made for Disney, the happiest podcast to ever sail the Seven Seas Lagoon. I'm Aaron. I'm Lily. I'm Sean. And I'm Michelle. Hello, this is Aaron, and I'll be your captain today on the second voyage of Made for Disney, the happiest podcast to ever sail the Seven Seas Lagoon. Today, we'll be having Lily as our first mate. Hey, it's Lily. Sean as our navigator. Hello. And of course, Michelle as our engineer. Hello. All right, so today our topic is about our favorite lands in each park and our personal favorite ride in each park. But before we get into that, let me turn this over to my crew and ask, what's new in the world? Quick news segment today. As we all know, about a week ago, Hurricane Irma came through Florida, up into Georgia, and moved on through. And I'm sure all the Disney fans out there know that the park survived quite well. It's managed to require a good bit of cleanup, and most of the rides were affected were simply clean up. And they should all be open, if not already open. We'd like for all those who were affected by Hurricane Irma to know that our hearts and prayers go out to you, that you and your families were safe, and that the cleanup has not been hard, and we think about you every day. All right, now that we got the news all wrapped up, let's check our itinerary today. So, what are we at, Sean? All right, today we're going to cover our favorite lands. We're going to concentrate on Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, and Epcot. But Epcot, we're going to go uh, concentrate on the pavilions. Okay, so mm-hmm. favorite land, uh, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, and Pavilion at Epcot. Right. Okay. All right, you're going to see Magic Kingdom. You know, it's laid out basically six lands. Hub and spoke design. Yeah. Covers 107 acres. Dilly, try to name all six lands. Oh, goodness. Here we go. All right, so yeah. Does New Fantasy count as one, or is it just like Fantasyland? Well, Fantasyland's actually broke up to Fantasyland, but then you also have Castle, Castle Courtyard, Storybook Circus, Enchanted Forest. Mm. You can combine it or not combine it. It's really up to you. Uh, I, I, still, I still consider it fantasy land. Yeah, For the right, sake so got- of guessing the lands, we'll just count fantasy land as one. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so we got fantasy land, tomorrow land, adventure land. Come on. Does Main Street count? Yes. Alright, Main Street. It's four. Come on. Two more. Six. Um. Oh, goodness. They're right next to each other. Two that you're missing. The two that you them. Uh, come on, think. What's adventure? Okay, so we you got- already said Adventureland. Um, I've already said Adventureland. Liberty Square. Liberty Square. And Frontierland. All right. Yeah. Did I this did is correct. Say- okay. So who wants to go first? Not me. I'll Mom. go first. Mom, you go first. first. All right. Did y'all say Future World? No. Tomorrow- That's Tomorrowland. 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 <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Okay. <laughs> Future World's over in Epcot, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, Tomorrowland, that. that's my favorite part because my favorite ride's over there. And that's the People Mover. Oh, yeah. That's fun. <laughs> I could ride that all day. But I like that area because it's big, it's open. There's a big space open there that we can sit down when the girls like to go. Oh, I don't know if it's their favorite ride, but it's mine for them. It's Space Mountain. Oh, yeah, they have those on, like, covered tables. Right yeah, they have covered tables. There's little places you can go and get something to eat. It's a great place to just they sit and the noodle and station. Watch the noodle station, yeah. You don't, you don't watch the noodle station. <laughs> I don't watch the noodle station. I watch the people walking by. But that's my favorite part of Magic Kingdom. All right. Who's yeah. next? Dad. No, let's go somewhere else. Oh, yeah, y'all just stare at me. Okay. There's, a, there's a reason, so okay, you go next. Obviously, Tomorrowland is one of my favorites because People Mover is there. People Mover is great. But then I also have my other one, which is obviously Fantasyland because, you know, Dumbo is just amazing. Yeah. I, I have to ride Dumbo every time I go there. It's a tradition, isn't it, Mother? Yes, that's been, always been your favorite ride. We always had to go straight to Dumbo as soon as you walk in. We yes. wanted to see you and her for half of the day because me and Dad would go over to Frontierland to go ride Yeah, because I'd be too Thunder. little to ride the other rides. So me and Mom would just go ride Dumbo, and I'd be very happy with that. And I was like, where's Mom? We've rode this ride five times. I figured you go, I you go say that because I figured you go say princesses, though, so. Yeah. But those two are probably my favorite. Okay. Where do you go from here? I'll go next. <laughs> and the reason I want to break between me and you is because I'm going to say Tomorrowland as well. <laughs> <laughs> but it's always my favorite. And it's, it's got a lot to do with the design, of the, how, it, how it looks, mm-hmm. and the design. looks really nice they repainted it. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, repainted 10 years ago, but the nice white, nice white wash and the blue. 
the colors. And um, I enjoyed most of the rides there except for Stitch. Never really enjoyed Stitch. Yeah, because I wouldn't ride it, so therefore you got mad at me because I wouldn't ride Did it. Did you do no. it when it was the alien encounter? I've done it with pretty much everything. I've done all, all about them. Mission I mean, to Mars? Mission to Mars. Yeah. I think Mission to the Moon originally, wasn't it? It was Flight to the Moon Flight is what it was moon. originally. And then yeah. I went to Mars because we already went to the moon, so it wasn't mm-hmm. as cool. I've only been on it with Stitch because I was Yeah, like, same. Because they like, changed it to Stitch like 2003, 2004, something like that. I was real young. When it, it was Alien Encounters when we went for a honeymoon. So yeah, it was around that time. Yeah, because right? Stitch came out early 2000, so I was a baby yeah. baby. Then it came out like 2002? Maybe. Maybe. So probably 2003, 2004 would be when it came out in the park. Mm-hmm. Alright, is it my turn now? Yeah. I think so. Okay, Avalanche, I had a trouble picking favorite land here. Because I just love a lot of them for different reasons. Usually food related. Or strange things like that. So I actually have three written down, but one was Tomorrowland. I've already covered it. I also was sure mine was going to get stolen no matter what I've picked. So I have, like, backups <laughs> in, in case we've already talked about it. I've got the same thing. Mm-hmm. But um, I've always been kind of torn between Adventureland and Frontierland. Yes. I've just, I've always loved the theming there, just the atmosphere, and then... Like, one of my favorite rides is in possibly my favorite rides in Frontierland, which is Big Thunder Mountain. I love Big Thunder Mountain. Mm -hmm. And then I just, there's not a ride there I dislike at all. Like, I've ridden Pirates how many times? I love Pirates. I could tell you every scene and detail about Pirates. I could, like, I could try to describe the strange, very specific smell that Pirates has. Maybe, can I just um, say that little area in between? (laughs) And count that as my favorite, or that would they're both <laughs> my favorite. And then I love Dole Lips, and I've ridden the Jungle Cruise. Well, they are connected by Pico's Bill, been. so. Yeah. Pico's Bill into Tortuga. You always I, have the turkey legs. I don't eat tor- turkey legs. Are you oh. thinking of Dole Lips? <laughs> no, turkey I'm legs. Of turkey legs. <laughs> turkey legs. Who of us eats turkey legs? Patty yeah. and I did Me one mama time. did one time. <laughs> one time. Honeymoon? I, I do love, um... Well, Pico, Isabel, and I, like, I just didn't want to be there for a long time, because one time, because I'm a very picky eater. You should know this off the bat. So, um, but one time we went, they had this test meal going on. It was fried chicken, mashed potatoes, like, it was like corn or something like that, some kind of, like, um, vegetable side. I got it. It was the best piece of chicken I've ever had in my life. Some great mashed potatoes. It was boneless chicken, wasn't it? Yeah, it was boneless. Yeah. I don't like bones in my chicken I'm because I was very picky. I was in like seven or so, I think. So I was like over the moon with that. Only time I ever saw they had it. So I guess it wasn't that great of a review from other people. I loved it. So we just... But then they didn't have it, so we just didn't go there for a long time because I was mad <laughs> that they didn't have the chicken. But now they have really good nachos. Oh, yeah, the nachos. You know, when best amazing. nachos. When me and Mom used to go, and when you were a baby, me and Mom used to like go there. We turned this to a restaurant review all of a sudden. Yeah, We used to go there because they had the um, the wraps. They used to have really good wraps. I'm not a wrap person. And, um, well, it was something we could share. Mm-hmm. Because it was just me and her, so we used to get like, a salad and a wrap or something Loaded like that. Loaded up the salad bar. Yeah, a little bit of the salad bar. All right, so has everyone done their favorite lands? Mm-hmm. And, you did? and I did, too, technically. Technically, you did. Okay. All right. So um, you're going to move on to Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. Okay, good. That's what I have next to my okay. list. Okay. And this is broken up into the Oasis, which is basically the entrance area. Yeah. The kind of area you walk through to get into the park. Mm-hmm. Discovery Island, Discovery which is basically the center hub yeah. of the park. Mm-hmm. You have the New World of Pandora, which no one's been to yet. Mm-hmm. You have Africa. Mm-hmm. Rafiki's Planet Watch. Rafiki's Planet Watch. Oh, it's actually Sarah's own land. Yeah. yeah Asia and Dino Land USA. Okay, so who's going first? Y'all all look at me again. Okay, here we go. Alright, so my animal kingdom would have to probably... Where am I? Um, Asia. Asia? Oh, I mean, I like Asia because it has Mount Everest in it. Mm-hmm. But then I, then I also like Dino Land. I don't know why. I just like Dino Land because it has, um... It's kitschy. It has not Dumbo. <laughs> I was scared that I had to ride for a while. That's not important. You still are. No, I'm not. I like it. Oh. But anyway, so probably Asia, um, Dino Land. Yeah, we're just picking one here. We're not picking the whole park piece by piece. No, I can pick two. Just, Air okay, pick you two. Get, you get two here and that's it. 
it's, we're making a very confusing podcast. Yes, we are. Way. Go ahead. Yeah, so those two. Okay. All right, and I choose Aaron. No. Someone else. Father. Okay. Well, I used to enjoy Dino Land. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I was mainly more when y'all were children. Because we used to love to go there and coast dinosaurs. Y'all like to see the dinosaurs. They had the I statues like we used to walk through and all that. When y'all were young, y'all didn't like the dinosaur ride or Countdown to Extinction. It's just called Dinosaur. No, it is. It used to be called Countdown to Extinction. Extinction. Was that back when they had the McDonald's thing? I remember specifically yes. that one McDonald's. They had like a McDonald's kiosk near there. I remember that Why? really distinctly yeah. for some reason. Why McDonald's? I'm not sure, but they changed the dino, dinosaur in the dinosaur movie came out. Uh, oh, yeah. I love the dinosaur movie. Love that dinosaur one. Movie? But, um, the digging in the sand was That's what we still enjoy too. doing, the digging. Yeah. But yet, with shoes full of sand. But yeah, I have to really say more of Africa. Because I really enjoy the safari there. Mm-hmm. Just to look. It's usually where we go first thing in the morning because it it's cooler. Because mm-hmm. first thing in the morning. Yeah. I just enjoy that part. The way it looks. It's real neat with the exposed wiring for the, you know, the street lights going across. And it's way it like really... You stepped into somewhere in Africa. Yeah. It looks like to me. Is that pristine? Usually we had to oh, run definitely not. to each time. Because back when they had the paper fast passes. Then we would all run yep. there. To have to go get our fast passes We wouldn't. We would just send you, Aaron. Uh, yeah. I was the runner. I don't know why. I was I was just the runner. I'd be giving everyone's passes and told, go here. Same thing would happen. She knew, where the, she knew where it was, though. So she yeah. didn't get lost. Same thing would happen to Toy Story. Back mm-hmm. when they had the paper system. Mm-hmm. It was like a weird marathon. Because everyone else also would go there. But now you have the whole Fast Pass Plus system, which mixed feelings on that. But they also have night safaris, too, which nobody's really there in the nighttime. At least before the last time we went was before Pandora's open. I assume that's changed a bit because of the Pandora. But back last time we went in January. It was January, right? January or February. Yeah, it was... um, there would be, like, nobody there. We actually went back for a night safari. That was really fun. Yeah, the night safari was really nice. Mama mm-hmm. almost got hit by a rhino, a baby rhino. <laughs> Ran up to her. And I really hope I enjoy Pandora, so maybe that can become our new one. But yeah. we'll see. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to pick Aaron, because Aaron went last last time, so I'm going to go. Oh, that's because I didn't want to go, because you didn't want to go before, because mine's huh? also Asia. Okay. Because I love Mount Everest. And you're making fun of me for Asia, for goodness sakes. Oh, I just said Asia? Because I was hoping you would change it when I was saying Asia next. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I love Mount Everest, and I actually, I'm a big fan of Yak and Yeti. Mm-hmm. I love the food mm-hmm. there. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's Cali, Cal- it's Cali's in Asia too, right? Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. So, like, my favorite parts of the park are all in Asia, really. Yeah. I like it. It's good. Yeah. That's really all there is to it. What do you got, Mama? Well, mine is Africa, because I like the safari. And y'all took all my words, because I was going to say the last trip, we went on the night safari. I'm sorry. And that was really, really neat. Almost um, got hit by a baby rhino. We saw the baby rhino up close and personal. You, especially <laughs> you. Um, but it was a lot. I, I enjoyed that area just because of of the ride. Of the ride, being able to go on the safari. That's really cool. Oh, also another point for Asia. That's where you get to see the tigers. So, mm-hmm. love mm-hmm. Asia. I think Anne could just go to Asia at this point. Yeah, I'll just stay there. I'll just sit there, watch the tigers. If I had a dull whip and I could just sit there and watch the tigers, like maybe on a spinning chair, too, that I could like spin between the two. <laughs> in the in the glass bed, just like look this way, look that way, look this way, look that way. Eat a dull whip. Okay. Gosh. <laughs> okay, let's get better. They Sorry. Don't have, they don't have dull whips there, but okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's what I dream of. So you have to go over the pavilions at Epcot. All right. So we have Epcot. The World Showcase, it surrounds a large man-made lake that's a mile, 1.2, 1.2 miles around. Is yeah. it? It feels yes, longer. It and if we go in a clockwise order, the 11 pavilions are Mexico, Norway, China, Germany, Italy, United States of America, Japan, Morocco, France, United Kingdom, and finally Canada. You couldn't see this, listeners, but he made he was kind of like doing this clockwards motion <laughs> while he was doing it. And the first time he did it after Mexico, he said Mexico. Then he moved his hand. I was like, "What are we having to do this in clock? This is not even in clockwise. No, it is in clockwise." I was like, "Is he going to throw it to each of us?" It's the board game I'm designing. <laughs> Name these twelve places in order. All right, so this time we're gonna go with Aaron first. Me? Oh, I get to go first. Cool, because I have, because I wasn't quite sure what to pick. And I know that mine three are the going to be the three favorites here. 
I guess I'll go with Japan. Because mm -hmm. I, once again, a lot of my stuff comes down to it. I really love the food. Um, well, I don't like sushi, so usually I'll go down and I'll get the kakagori, which is great. I usually do the rainbow one. It's real it's good. It's shaved ice. Yeah. Then I, I like walking around the shop they have. That's fun. We've gotten a pearl a couple times. And I love the candy. A bunch of times. A bunch yeah. of times. <laughs> I love the candy you get. And finally, I have my braces off so I can actually eat it again. So mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to that the next trip around. I just There's just something I like about the atmosphere there. Mm -hmm. It's just very nice. They had one of the more fun, um, can possible things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, who's next? I can go next, I guess. Okay. I'm not willingly going. This is interesting. All right. So obviously, I do love Japan because kakagori is amazing, and I do love sushi. Yeah. And doesn't like sushi, obviously. But um, another one is Paris. Um, France. France, not Paris. Well, I mean, it's technically like they have like Paris, France. Paris, France, you know, that place. But I like France just because, like, of the food that they have, because they have the crepes, because mine come down to food as well. I don't like crepes. They also have, um, oh, what was it that we got? Sorbet. Was that a sorbet? Yeah, they have that little ice cream shop that I always forget it's there, but we went to it last time we were there. Because we, like, we just took a little break, like, we were with our grandparents, and we just kind of went, um, pavilion by pavilion, ended up in Paris, and we got crepes and other foods. So. Yeah, they have really good ham and cheese croissants. They're not I'm very expensive too, so it's like it's and it's a good size thing it's to, if you want like a nice snack there. Also, great eclairs, great eclairs. Okay, who's right. next? Um, mother. Mine is the Chinese pavilion. The hmm. China it is not related to food. Ooh. It's more related to education. Oh, of course. When you homeschool, everything is education. <laughs> I don't remember the name of the attraction, but it's their main attraction right there where it has all the soldiers. Oh, the, the, um, the terracotta soldiers? The terracotta soldiers, yes. It's right next to where they do the movie. That you always forget's there. Yeah, the yeah, 360 it's movie. It's really neat to go in there and look at all the displays they have and then to look at the soldiers to, Isn't that to the imagine one that. Is just guarding the um, like, tomb of somebody? I don't remember what they do, so we'll mm -hmm. have to go check that out the next time to see exactly what they're doing. Or that could be a great report for somebody to do after the podcast. But yeah, I really like, I think that's a really neat atmosphere. We found yeah. that because we're playing Kim Possible. Yeah. yeah. Kim Possible helped us. I loved it, it when it was Kim Possible, even though it was like a few years after Kim Possible ended, which was strange on their theming there. Well, they switched to Agent P and... Yeah, a few years the, after they ended, so... Yeah, it was no, no, it just ended, like, this last summer. Oh. Did it? Yeah. Well, when it stopped being out of most of our consciousness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So... All right, and father's man. left. Ooh. All right. Yeah, so this, for this one, I'm not going to pick Japan. I started to, but I said, no, I knew one of y'all two picked Japan, because I knew y'all both liked candy and all so much. Can I guess so. what you're going to pick? Yes. Mexico. No. Can I guess? Yes. Norway. No. Mother, you want to guess? It's Canada, isn't it? I don't know. He wants that maple syrup. Uh, no, it's not maple syrup. <laughs> Maybe it could be Canada for La Salle. That's a great place. What's La Salle? Oh, yeah, it's a great place. It's actually Morocco. Oh, yeah, this, I do This is how food. much y'all pay attention oh, to me. Oh, Well, not, not really do their food. <laughs> I just like the way the, the, way the pavilion, set pavilion is set up. When you get in there, you realize there's all these little small side streets you could take. Mm -hmm. Then basically it just goes around the building. But the way they kind of have curvy avenues and all. You can really get back up in there and feel like in a whole different area. Yeah. In the small shops, you're interconnected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the little tile work. Yeah, all the uh, tile. Yeah, yeah, the, it's beautiful. Like the tile work. Yeah, they had the one area to set up like the uh, baths with all that tile work on the inside of it. Yeah. And the re we've only been Mer well, Marrakesh. What? Yeah. Like the um the counter the service. Se the yeah, it was counter orange. service. Can't think of any of the restaurant now. I remember I got sick. But but I remember it was unrelated. Nothing to do with the food. Yeah, but last yeah. time... Yeah, there was really good food. We enjoyed haven't it. haven't had swarma since, though. <laughs> yeah. Last time we actually went to Morocco... Well, we didn't eat in Morocco, but last time we were going through the pavilion with our grandparents. Our grandparents were watching the um, band. I was, there. I was like, I want to get a henna. Yeah, Lily and I and did And that became that. a whole situation. <laughs> we did that. that I did get the henna, cool. though. It was very cool. Mm-hmm. All right, is that All right. it? Yep. Um, yeah, it looks like it. All right, one more note about here. The reason we didn't do Hollywood Studios, because right now with all the construction going on there. Not really any land. Yeah, it's not really a land to it. There's very few rides actually still open right presently. 
Mm -hmm. But I'm sure we'll have a new land favorite there as soon as Star Wars Lands opens. We can all say that's our favorite. Pixar <laughs> Land. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But anyway, so but this time we're going to start off at Disneyland. At uh, Disney Disney Hollywood Studios. We are going to call it MGM Yeah, a probably lot forever. For so I hope they finally get, get come up with a good new name. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, before it was Hollywood Studios, Disney had a partnership with MGM, and it was called MGM, is what the park was called. So and that's just, what MGM Hollywood Studios. MGM Disney Hollywood, Hollywood Studios. Yeah. A lot of people that knew it before then just still call it MGM because we've already easier. called it that for years. Yeah. yeah. Rolls off the tongue easier. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And so th this time, was go with, th with this go-around, I was wondering my favorite ride. Favorite ride? Favorite ride? Um, we'll do by each park. By all each right. park? Okay. Okay, so we'll do all four parks this time. Okay. Favorite ride. I know we par we've covered a lot of this already, but some we haven't. You want to start off in Hollywood then? Yeah, we're going to start off at Disney Hollywood Studios, and I'm going to go first this time. Okay. okay. Just to make it a little bit different. And this one, um, I'm probably going to go to Star Wars Launch Bay. Okay. It's not technically a ride. It's an attraction, but still. It's, it's nice. Oh, it's yeah. And I really like it. I, I'm really a Star Wars fan. Mm -hmm. So I enjoy being able to go through the place and look at all the artwork they have. Meet Chewbacca. The, uh, yeah, you get me Chewbacca and some other people there. And the helmet display they have, which I really enjoy helmets. So I just really enjoy that. Yeah. My, my backup was Star Tours, so that's not a whole lot different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Yeah. That was fun taking photos. I, I crochet, and I crocheted a bunch of um, Star Wars characters before the trip. So I was able to take photos. I had Chewie with a little Chewie and a um, little Ewok. It was fun. Yeah, my present Facebook picture is actually me holding two um, Stormtroopers. Yeah, which you can see on our site under Meet the Crew. Yep. Well, you can see it until I have to get a new picture taken. <laughs> yeah. All right, so next one go with Mom. Mom? Mother. You my favorite ride is Toy Store Mania. Mm -hmm. Okay. I enjoy the going arm on killer. That. I enjoy video game kind of things. I'm just I, no, I'm just making the motion that you do when you're playing the game, where it's just you hold it with the two fingers. I'm sorry, it oh, looks very going, strange. What are you doing? You're making this wild. <laughs> I don't know. Does it kind of tell speed up or something? Yeah. <laughs> sorry, uh, go Toy on. Toy Mania, because I like to shoot the arrows, break the plates. You break name the plates it, are fun. It's a lot of fun. The one time I remember I would break plates and not get in trouble for it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's a lot of fun, especially with um, our grandparents. They can't really ride, like, the roller coasters and stuff, so they love that ride. It doesn't hurt that our grandfather's name is Woody, and so is our uncle's name. So they have a bit of a preference towards Toy Story. Yes, they do. <laughs> yeah. All right, so who's next? You pick, Ma. You. Me? Uh -huh. I'm next? Okay. Rock and roll. I love it's rock and roll rock. coaster. I love it. There's, it's just, it's fun. That's really all my reasoning to it. It also has a single rider line, so I'm just I'll just get in there constantly. It's real fun. It's that's really all it is. Yep. Me and mom use it ride it once with y'all, then we just sit down and y'all two go back through the single rider line constantly for like an hour. <laughs> Pretty much. It's fun. I love it. It's really all into it. I will say that even though I don't care for this ride, um, how the I'm not gonna say I, why did I almost say the Hollywood Tower? It, well, I guess it's the Hollywood Tower Hotel, but um, Tower, Tower of Terror. Terror, Tower of Terror. I can't stand riding it because I don't like being out of control of how I'm falling, but I do like the theming there. <laughs> okay, go on. Who's are, you, next? are you usually in control of the way you fall, or <laughs> I just it's like oh. I wouldn't um I would like um what's the thing where you like. You're bungee not like jump? you're not bungee jumping. You're repelling, repelling. I would okay. do repelling because it's in my hands, not some. So you're not falling. Machine. You're just descending. <laughs> I don't care for it. Go on, the ladies. Your turn. All right. Since we're all, we all have chosen different ones, since I've chosen the Hollywood Tower Hotel, Tower of Terror, which is surprising because I used to hate this ride with a passion. I still do. But I finally have gotten it to where I love it. Mm -hmm. My uncle is always so surprised whenever I say I'll ride it with him. Because I used to be like, no, I'm not riding this. This is going to kill me. I loved the movie. The, I'm pretty sure it was like straight to Disney Channel original movie. But there was one Tower of Terror movie and I loved it for some reason. Yeah. But the theme means, but the theming is really nice. And you just get that really good like kind of spooky, eerie feeling yeah. whenever you're on there. Because you got the cold, where it's always cold in there, which obviously... You do the feeling something's like behind you. Yes. Well, I love the Twilight Zone, which is why I'm a, which is why I'm kind of a fan of the, of the facade, I'll say, versus the ride. <laughs> yeah, I remember once when you were little, I had to walk you through the whole. We walked all the way through the outside line because there wasn't much lines 
It was early evening. There wasn't much line at all. Yeah, I was stressed. And out. I walked you the whole line. You kept, you were afraid I was gonna throw you on the ride somehow. Oh and yeah, it, I was so stressed out. Even though we were nowhere near the ride. We were in the gardens. <laughs> it's like how the gardens were all decrepit looking and everything. We actually went. I think you looked inside the building like, into go. the lobby and just turned around and walked out. <laughs> Probably. She's like, nah. Yeah, actually, we had to bribe Erin to ride the first time. You bribed her? No, the yes. first time I rode it, I think, was just true. That way I could say that I've ridden every par- every ride in Walt Disney World. The- but you did bribe me to ride it once by getting me the movie on DVD. Mm-hmm. Had to buy it at a gift shop. Yeah. Probably the only place you can actually buy it anymore. Probably that and eBay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. But it's actually surprising we all chose different places this time. Yeah, first time. Yeah. All right, so who's the next? What? Well, what park's next? All right, let's go with uh, Epcot. Epcot. Epcot? Mm-hmm. All right, this is a hard one. There's not really a lot of, like, rides at Epcot mm-hmm. or very interesting shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All okay. Right. Um, I'll go first since I'm the one nice. to buy it up. Um, so, obviously, I love Test Track because it does have a single rider, and I also just love the ride. Um, but then I also... Do you like the Frozen ride? <laughs> I also like the old one that it replaced, which is how do you pronounce it? You're gonna. Pr- All right. No, I pronounced it right. Break. Edit this. You can pick one park. One, I did. <laughs> no, you mentioned three of them so far. I mentioned the, the, the was- place only has about five rides. There are four of us, and you've already mentioned three. Aaron doesn't like Frozen. You, you mentioned <laughs> Test Track Frozen. Maelstrom. Mel- Maelstrom. Yep. So see, you, you mentioned all three of them. So let's just roll, 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 rewind it and you move on a little bit and just pick one. Well, Dad has reference for the old ones, though, so he could pick something there. Yep. So it's Mom, I guess, technically. I all right. So my favorite ride is the Frozen one. Okay? Is it Frozen Ever After? Is that what yeah, it's called? Yeah, Frozen Ever After. Ever After. Ever After. Okay. Can't, can't speak today. I like it because a I love Frozen, mm-hmm. and b I just like b, I like going backwards on it because you have to go up, back back behind the falls. Yeah, what? It's over the falls, not <laughs> <laughs> behind the falls. It was o- it's over the falls. Look, there's a lot of problems with the impression I just did. So, do you, you see the backside of falls there? <laughs> well, you go, you see the backside of water. <laughs> This is the actually the backside of the water of that falls. It's the ninth wonder. It's the ninth. <laughs> yeah, I guess the eighth is um. Shut up! Don't say make fun of how I say ninth. <laughs> You're mean. Okay. okay. Right, anyway, I'm done. Aaron, you go. Me? Um. Well, I was I had problems here again because there's just not a lot at Epcot really. So you gonna need four of them again or? <laughs> um. Let's just try to stick it to one. <laughs> okay, so I, I was thinking test track, and that's Here she the goes. most enjoyable. <laughs> but, <laughs> cause like that's the most enjoyable ride. Ride like I've ridden Soren so much, and I'm just over it completely. I and forgot about Soren. None of the other ones are really that fun. I did enjoy the Maelstrom, when it was open, cause it was, I liked how it smelled. It smelled like the way that all Disney water rides do, which is comforting for some reason at this point. Also, it was like never that much of a line and cool inside, so like good way to kill a few minutes. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed it that way, but I think Test Track's my favorite current ride. Okay. I'd have to go with because it does have single rider line. Throw on there, kill some time that way. I would say Mission Space. Okay. Mission why? Space. Yes, Mission Space. Yes, Mission why? Space. It's a neat ride. So y'all get all scared and y'all don't want to ride it, but I enjoy it. I ride it. I ride it. Okay. You make us ride the... The, the green. The green side. The one where you just watch a screen. <laughs> yes. I like the bird. I don't like turbulence. <laughs> turbulence. Okay. I enjoy it because you really do feel that thrust of taking off and the feel, and then you feel the weight env- envelop. Yeah, you get enveloped by the weightlessness. And, uh... So Big that's words that's, here. Yep. Yeah. So I've always really enjoyed that ride. They just redid the, um... The green side. Green side, correct? Correct. Okay. We have not ridden it since then. Yeah, we haven't been right since um, January of 2017. Yep. Last time we were there, just for your reference. All right, so I guess it's Mom's turn? Yep. What you got? 
Well, you know, I can't ever remember the names of rides. Okay, just describe it and we'll tell you. Is it, it called the Living Seas? Living, Living Seas, Seas with, with Nemo, Nemo and Friends. Nemo. Mine, mine, mine. Oh, God. <laughs> trying to <laughs> steal my binky. It's not necessarily the ride so much. It's the end. I like to see educational. the Educational. Yes, again, it's <laughs> educational. But I like to see all the fish in the aquarium. That's mm -hmm. always very relaxing to me. Mm -hmm. That and over in the other area where they've got the smaller tanks. And they've got the smaller little fish and seahorses and all kinds of things like that. And I really like that. And it's never really too crowded when we go, too, and it's all nice and cool inside, so when it gets hot or if it starts raining, because it's Florida, so who knows what's going to happen, it's a good place to just chill out for a little while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. That's mine. All right. That's it for that one? Right. Yeah, I believe so. All right, so let's go to... Magic uh, Kingdom. Say Magic Kingdom for last. All right. We'll go to Animal Kingdom next. Animal we'll go Kingdom. to a kingdom, though. Yep. He's going to go first. I'll go first. Mom, you go first. Mine is what I said earlier. It's the safari. And I like the, the nighttime safari. The one that's late in the afternoon. Um, you see the sun going down. You see the animals in a different perspective than you do in the mornings. Usually they're a little bit more active because they're about to go up for the night. So Well, um, last time we went... Oh, and they do have some different animals out because of the time difference. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. I believe it is it the hyenas they have out. Hyenas are out and some other animals are getting yeah. used to being out at night now. Yeah, um, when we went with Honey and Babe, actually, they weren't really that active at all, though, so I think it's kind of a, it's a little bit of a hit or miss, but when we did go, it was, it was still fairly new. Mm -hmm. Both of the times that we rode it were about a week apart, I think, so it, it might be different now, but it was kind of hit and miss in the beginning, but we just happened to hit it very hard the yeah, first time. Yeah, us four, we, we saw, what were they? We saw, like... All kinds. They, yeah, like, they were the, running um, around the planes and stuff. It was yeah, really the, cool. like the um, what are they called? They're my favorite animal. Why can't I think of what they're called? Tommies. 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 Yeah. They were just hopping around and they were like playing with like they weren't wildebeest. Yeah. Were they wildebeest? I they they, they, might they were like running around the plains area. Everything was just great looking. It was it really was cool. Real fun. Okay, who's next? Sean. Okay, uh, Animal Kingdom. This is a tough one for me because I don't, I don't ride, ride a lot of rides there anymore. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go with the Affection Station Petting Zoo. Oh, we can go see Leia. Yep, go Planet Rafiki's Planet Watch. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Take I, a little train ride over to it. I hate how long that train takes. Everything about the train just feels so inconvenient. It's <laughs> nice. I board. like it. It's nice and relaxed. Once, once it's it going, I'm fine with it, but it's always like a weird lead up. Like you've either just missed the train or it's just getting yeah, waiting, no sitting there waiting, there, so not moving, sit there and wait get hot for forever. But no, I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed looking at all the animals they have there, as well as what they have on the inside. They also have the um, I don't want to say get lucky, but they maybe doing <laughs> a checkup on an animal. We've actually mm -hmm. been there where they did a surgery on an animal one time. And somebody brought in a. I want to say the turtle. And so do I, yeah, I think it was a turtle. Yeah. They were having to operate on. They had it. They had to think outside, explain what was going on with it, so you got an idea what was going on. Yeah, and sometimes they have, like, they'll bring out, like, a snake, or I think they brought out a bunny before, and, like, they talk about them and stuff, let the we kids pet them. Me and my sister Aaron, we got, me and my sister, Aaron's right here, we yeah. had to touch a snake. We did. It's very dry. Yep. Yeah. They're not really and slimy, it, they're really weird. And I really enjoy the petting zoo part, because of the, uh, we used to have goats, so I enjoy the goats, and have the... The main yeah, reason yeah. you want goats. Yep. Yeah. So we really enjoy that. Yeah, if you go there, ask about Leia. She's the nicest goat we've ever met there. She's the sweetest. We visit her when we can. Also, if you have, like, kids, they usually have some characters out and about. Um, it's usually Pocahontas, so you can find, like, Rafiki, Pocahontas. Chip and Dale. Chip yeah, and sometimes Dale. Chip and Dale are just everywhere. Yeah. And, of course, they have all the cleaning stations, so when you get done, you can clean your hands. They have the sanitary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um sanitizing gel so you don't have to walk around with goat hands right. for the rest of the day so you can get the smell off you because goats do have a certain smell to them so lily what you got all right so obviously i like mount everest it's probably my favorite ride um because a it's got the single rider so me and my sis me and Aaron can just go ride it multiple times just back to back to back mom and dad they'll just go sit somewhere in the shade and we'll see them after the first time. We'll just be like, all right, bye. And just keep going. So. They don't have yeah. many seats around there, though. That's yeah. one they wish they yeah. would. Yeah, they do have that tables. one area kind of around. That's not actually seats, but it's by the gift shop that everyone sits Yeah, around. they got the rocks. But my back, the way it is, it's hard for me to get comfortable sitting on a rock that's leaning at a 30-degree angle. <laughs> I need yeah. something more flat. <laughs> Preferably with back support. That's just me. 
Mm-hmm. So. All right. I think that's everybody, is it? No. no. Just me and you. Aaron? Mom also went. It's me. I'm the last one. Oh, you're the last one? I'm sorry. Yeah. Which is bad because mine's also Everest. To no one's surprise if you've ever met me. I just, I love Expedition Everest. I love it. It's nice. I've written it like probably 50. I've written not, I've written it like 34 times in a day. Usually. With me. With Lily. Y'all wrote 34 times in one day? Back maybe back. I maybe higher than that. Because um, when we stay with our grandparents and our uncle on trips there, usually there's one day that we have reserved for a hotel day. Sometimes we're like, eh, it's not really much to do at the hotel. So we'll just, um, we'll have breakfast. Then our uncle will take us to Animal Kingdom. He'll sit down, like, get something to eat or whatever. We're just gonna ride it until he's like, let's leave. Yeah, because so, <laughs> like, by... One o'clock. We got there probably about an hour after opening. We wrote it 35 times, I want to say. Because one of the cast members told us, like, how many times somebody had wrote it back to back. Like, on single rider, it's like 40 or 50. Yeah, so that's our so goal. So me and Aaron were like, we got to beat it. Yeah, we also wrote it on the last train of the night. Mm-hmm. But usually we only spend, like, four hours whenever we do do the back to back. Because it'll mm-hmm. be, like, a Wednesday. So there's not really much happening over there. Mm-hmm. And, like, December or so, like, no one's there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you oh. want to feel kind of nauseous, but not nauseous enough to actually be sick, great th- way to do it. Mm-hmm. I do about anything 35 times, I'm going to get nauseous, so. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to finish up with Magic Kingdom. Yep. Magic Kingdom. So. Send me last. Aaron, go first. <laughs> Alright. You go first. I got oh. I to think about mine okay. for a minute. So, I'm going to go, I'm going to say Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay. The Caribbean. Caribbean. Not a major surprise. No. But there again, I have to remember lots of them when I was young. Mm-hmm. Going through that ride, I thought it was really neat watching the, you know, the queue adds so much to that ride. Mm-hmm. Especially when you got a long line, you kind of look at everything real closely. The pirates playing chess and pirates depending play. on what side you go through, you see different things. Well, you know. now you don't get to pick because um, one side's fast pass yep. and one side is standby. So yep. you don't get to pick which side you're going on. So you can be like, see us suckers, we know which side's shorter. But it's not always better, because you do miss some of this cool standby stuff. Mm-hmm. But the ride itself is great. Mm-hmm. And it's got a lot of history to it, so mm-hmm. I mean, that's what I really enjoy. So let's um, go with Mom. Yeah. Well, like I said in the other one, I think my best ride is the People Mover. It's just fun. You sit there. You go fast. You get to see all around the place. Go inside Space Did Mountain. You get inside Space Mountain and get to see the chocolate chip cookies. Um, it's just a great ride to take a break during the day. You get to see the chocolate chip cookies? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In Space Mountain. What chocolate chip cookies? The meteors. Have you not seen the chocolate chip cookies? <laughs> That's, I've never heard you call them that before. That's what they look like. Oh, they have big they chocolate chip like. cookies. I mean, you're not wrong, but you've never called them that before. Oh, yeah. I was like, where are chocolate chip cookies? I want some. <laughs> it's like, do you think they go through a bakery and I've just blacked <laughs> out each time? <laughs> I wish they'd let you ride that multiple times, like not get off the ride because there's probably no Probably if you ask them. But, yeah, um, there's like no way. They probably they make you get off. So, but that's my best ride. Yeah, paging Mr. Morrow, Mr. Tom, Tom Morrow. Morrow. I never got that reference until like last year. And I it's not a stupid. reference, it's a pun! No, not, not a reference, but pun. I never got that pun until like last year, and I felt real stupid after I figured it out. Especially since we've told you it. <laughs> okay, Aaron. I'm going last. Lily has one more. Lily, oh. your turn. Oh, me? Oh, goodness. Um. Mm. I wasn't quite sure what my favorite is, so I'm trying to get mine eliminated. <laughs> Jungle Cruise! Okay, so the reason I like the Jungle Tree. Tr- Cruise. Jungle, <laughs> Jungle Cruise. Jungle Cruise is because they obviously change it during the um, Christmas. Christmas time, which we've gone there once or twice. And the Jingle Cruise. Mm-hmm, and it's nice. They just kind of make a little bit different jokes, but we also get to see the back wa- back side of water. Very interesting experience. I definitely recommend it. Without um, hurting your head on the on the um, faucet. Yeah. <laughs> I would do that. That's besides the point. But I like it just because... I don't know, they make the really good jokes and the really good puns, and it's just like, you know, I like it. So, yeah. But if I was able to choose to seven doors of mine trains also. I don't think I'd use the word good puns, but okay. Good in parentheses. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're bad they jokes. They are puns, but... But they're funny. Like, they're okay. good, bad jokes. So bad, they're good. Yeah. All right. So let's finish it off with Aaron. 
My turn. Okay, the reason I wanted to go last is because I couldn't quite pick, so I was hoping some of mine would be eliminated. One was, I do love Tomorrowland Transit Authority. Love it. Um, TTC? TTA. TTA. Yeah, where's that C coming from? <laughs> My brain. <laughs> Leaving Tomorrowland me with... Ticket Center? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh-huh. what I'm left with is two, and it's kind of for two different reasons why I love them. All right, let's see them. So because I'm going last, I'm going to do both. The hey, first one's quick. The first one's quick. It's um, Big Thunder Mountain. I mm-hmm. love it. I mentioned it before. It's just, it's a fun ride. First roller coaster I rode besides um, the Barnstormer, or I guess now it's the Great Goofy Any, which it's fun. I love it. Usually, since it's going to have a shorter line throughout the day versus like Space Mountain, and most people do go to the right during opening. Like um, Dad and I used to run straight to Big Thunder, and now we the whole family unit does. So we go straight to there. But the other one's not too far from it, which is um is um the Haunted Mansion. And that's kind of like, be- and I love the theming of it. Mm. It's just, I think it's the best themed ride in the entire Great, park. scary atmosphere there. I don't know, I, I just like the eerie atmosphere. You go whenever you step in, and you hear the, the ghost hose, and it just starts to give you like that creepy feeling like someone's going to touch you any second. As long as yeah, it's not I'm, dark outside, you're fine. Yeah. If it's dark outside, you don't want to go. Just like watching your scary stories. Oh, well, yeah. You, I, you forced me to watch it like 9 o'clock. I get that feeling whenever oh, okay. I'm standing next to Dad when I'm there, because I'm sure he's going to touch me, and then I'm going to like accidentally slap him. No. He, he, whenever we're doing that, because while the ghost host is talking, I'll typically be standing in front of Dad or beside him, and he'll just start talking in my ear as the ghost toast and they're like no you're going to get slapped or punched next time you do that yeah you not touch me or do not talk to me no yeah Focus usually on. we're just saying the whole script the entire mm-hmm. time that we're on the ride and then we always we always get stuck in madame leota's realm the yes. only time we haven't got stuck in me in madame leota's realm is when we got stuck in front of the um hallway by the chair when mm-hmm. we were, when dad and i actually went on the king the King, the keys of the, to the kingdom tour, and we got in stuck the there chairs? by the chair by the clock. It's kind. Of, it's in between the hallway and the, the clock. The one that does this with the shadow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh huh. The thirteen. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, we always get stuck in Madame Leota's room, though. I think we also got stuck in Madame Leota's room when we were there. <laughs> yeah, but we're just getting stuck everywhere. It's just I love the theming with it. It's great. It's really, all I got to say on it. It's fun. So. That's it. All right. Well, I guess that wraps it up then. All right, folks. We've just tied up the dock, sadly meaning that our voyage today is over. But I want to let you know how you can contact us and stay up to date on all Made for Disney news. You can check out our Twitter and Facebook page at Made for Disney. It's spelled the same way as the podcast. M-A-D-E, the number four, Disney. You can also check out our Instagram page made for disney the podcast and then we also have a website um made for disney spelled the same way as the podcast dot podient p-o-d-i-a-n-t dot co c-o all right so all i have left is that i want to thank you for joining us today on made for disney the happiest podcast to ever sail the seven seas lagoon bye, bye.